Let's talk about dressing after a shoulder replacement surgery. When dressing the upper body, it is important to adhere to shoulder precautions. Let's review these shoulder precautions. Shoulder precautions vary by surgeon. However, the most common precautions include no lifting and no bearing weight on the operated arm and shoulder. In addition to these precautions, many surgeons also have specific precautions related to the range of motion of the shoulder, which often requires very little movement allowed. Please refer to our shoulder precautions video and instructions from your surgeon on what you are and are not allowed to do. This video demonstrates how to dress the upper body with very little movement of the operated shoulder required. Today, we will demonstrate how to dress with two different types of shirts. Both shirts are viable options for dressing and are often chosen based on the difficulty and preference of the patient. First, let's discuss putting on a pullover shirt like a cotton t-shirt. Prior to the start of dressing, the individual should remove their sling. Please see our video on sling wear for more important information on how to take off the sling. The individual should rest their operated arm on a pillow or on the bed beside them. The individual should dress the operated side first. First, find the armhole for the operated side. Then, the individual should bend forward at the waist to promote passive flexion of the shoulder. It is important to note that the shoulder should not be helping, but rather be relaxed and dead, meaning it is not moving on its own. The individual will loop the armhole through the operated arm and bring it up to the shoulder. Move the operated arm back into a comfortable resting position and put on the shirt as you would regularly without using the operated arm. To take off the shirt, it is recommended to pull the shirt over the head first, then undo the non-operated arm, and finally slide the operated arm into a passive hanging position to slide the t-shirt off. For a button-up shirt, the individual will follow similar movements, finding the armhole for the operated side and bending forward at the waist to place the operated arm in passive flexion. Remember, the operated arm should be relaxed and considered a dead weight. The individual will use their non-operated arm to loop the armhole over the operated arm and pull it up to the shoulder. From there, the individual should reach around behind them to grab the other side of the button-up shirt and loop the non-operated arm through the proper armhole. To button the shirt, the individual is allowed to use their fingers on the operated arm to help do the buttons. It is important to remember that the individual is allowed movement of the fingers, wrist, and elbow under most surgical precautions, but must not move their shoulder with any active movement prior to being cleared by their surgeon. To take off the shirt, the individual will remove their unoperated arm from the armhole and use the arm to slide the shirt off the operated arm. For dressing the lower extremity, it is recommended that the client sit to pull on pants and underclothes in order to maintain balance and avoid the need to use the operated arm to brace the body during a potential fall. Leaning forward in the seated position will also ensure the precautions are being maintained. As mentioned earlier, clothes should be chosen based on the difficulty and preference of the patient. For example, slip-on shoes prevent the necessity of tying laces and may be easier for the patient to wear while they are under surgical precautions.